So he would have really been a patron of the arts. This could possibly have been bought from the factory and have been in your family from day one. Yes, of course. I think that's fantastic. I really do. Floggett's come to Wallasey and you want to sell your local pot. Why is today the day to sell it? Because of We're here. <laughs> It's nice to see all the different faces that you feel you'll know from television. Uh, well, it's lovely to be here. And you know what? This is what the market wants. Real flavour of the moment. You've got a few issues with it. The glaze is flaking around the rim. I can sort of live with that. But here, look, you've got a bit of a crack. Slight crack just there. It's bizarre, this world. You can live with flaking, but these fire cracks, I think they're going to reduce the value a little bit. Have you got a figure in mind for this? Well, I have. Um... Uh, <laughs> would it be as much as £100? <laughs> a little more than that. Would it be as much as £500? A little more. <gasps> oh, fire. You've done your homework, you, haven't you? <laughs> I think this is a lovely thing. I think it's a lovely, lovely thing. And I think the market will really clamour for it. There will be a lot of interest in it. I think it could make anywhere between... 800 and a thousand pounds, 700 and 900 pounds, that sort of region. In an ideal world, I would like to see an estimate of seven to 900 and a reserve, say, of 650. That would be my ideal. What were you hoping to get for it? I don't think I'd like to go below 700, probably. Okay, so if we put seven to 900 as an estimate, yes, and we put 700 as a fixed reserve, yes. no discretion. That's it, minimum. Yes, okay. Okay. Well, I think that's absolutely lovely. And why are you selling this particular piece, then? It's difficult to store. Um, I, I worry about it. It's side of a wardrobe at the moment. It's really? hardly the, the best place for it. No, I think Delarobe deserves better than the yes. side of a wardrobe. Yes, really. I think so. Keep our fingers crossed. Hujurani ondiya niranara de poja ondiya niyani Niyani de gona Niyani de gona Niyani de gona Niyani de gona Niyani On Floggett, Helga's piece is by far the largest So it'll be interesting to see how it fares The auction is how it's going The first is time for some more gems Up on the balcony with Nick Well, where do we start? Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. <laughs> People are going, what on earth are they going on about? Engraved on the top of this fantastic desk snuffbox, Victorian one, is in Scrum of Day, what a night. No, 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 no. At least to? just 20 minutes. Mind boggles. <laughs> well, I wonder what this night was about. Any ideas? Uh, I should have happened. Tell me where they've come from. How are they in your possession? They were my late father-in-law's and he used to have them in his glass cabinet and he lived in Bisley and he was in the forces. Wow. Yeah. Did you see much action? Uh, Motura Nio Nia Nia Really? Goodness me. Well, let's tell you a little bit about the box itself, shall I? It's Victorian. It's hallmarked in Birmingham. 1872. It's lovely quality. It's a real bruiser heavy as well. Often these are quite thin. It's a table snuff box, what we call, so slightly larger than your pocket one, obviously. I thought it was a card box. No, well, I think it's snuff. I really do. I think with the photo engraving around it, and with Oh What A Night, I'm, in, I'm still intrigued with that. I can't get over that. If you take a closer look at this one, it's absolutely fantastic, and you can always spot quality, because underneath is as good as the top. It's absolutely beautiful. All this foliate engraving. It's a really good, heavy depth of gauge of engraving as well. And open it up, and it's pin clean inside. Absolutely pin clean. With a crackling hallmark in there. It looks like it was stamped yesterday, doesn't it? I mean, it's hardly been used. But, you know, it's back to the same question. What happened that night? We'll never know. We'll never, ever know. How frustrating. <laughs> With it, we've got a little trinket box as well, silver again. Little problem with one of the legs. It's legless. With these sort of Dutch-inspired relief moulded figures on the top. A little bit of a, a, a contrast to the other one. But for different things as well. Little trinkets, rings, bits and pieces on a lady's dressing table. Fashion-wise, even now, this is a little bit... We'll see. 
Yes. Terribly difficult to clean, as Mimon would have said. Yes. We're going to talk about the money side of things. Probably put them together as a lot. Okay. If that was perfect, I'd probably keep them separate. But I just think it might put some of the buyers off. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think that one's probably about two or three hundred pounds on its own. And that one's probably just around about a hundred. So I think if we put them in at three to five hundred for the two. We can put a reserve on them. I've got a reserve of 300 pounds. I think I think they're worth that every day of the week. If I can be a hard valuer, I think they'll do a little bit more. What do you think about that? You happy? Yes, very nice. Do you like them? I like them, yes. Which is your favourite of the two? That one. It's because of the night out again, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I'm with you, Kath. What a great inscription to spark the imagination. Austin, how are you? Lovely to see you. Do you know what? I've seen so many good things today, and out of everything I've seen, I take these home. Thank you. I think they're fantastic. Great. How are they coming to your possession? Well, my sister lived in a flat in London a while back, yeah. and uh, she moved into a larger place, and these were her kitchen dining room chairs. And I've always thought they were a bit stylish, so I had them offer. you got a good eye. What did you pay her? 100 quid. 100 quid? Yeah. These are made out of oak, and, and I would say that they dated from that. 1925, 1935 period. I think they're so stylish with this horseshoe seat. I mean, they're just such a cool chair, they really are. There we are, look, Eels. Tottenham Court Road, London. And this is a registration mark on here. And you can date that to within the year, and I would suggest it's probably, well, it's got 33 on the end of it, so there's a fair chance it might be 1933. Um, have you ever given any thought as to what they might be worth? Well, I was offered 100 quid by a dealer right. a couple of years ago, which I thought was a little bit on the low side, so maybe, what? I don't know, 150, 200 quid. 150, 200 quid. Okay, fine. I would put probably three to five hundred pounds on them as an estimate and I would put a reserve on them of 250 give the auctioneer you're looking surprised very surprised really yes